Well, the players might be off the clock for tonight, but our clock is just getting started. That's right, and what a night to open the draft. Alabama making a statement right away. That they did. Alabama quarterback Bryce Young got to answer the call first. Bryce Young was selected as the number one pick in the draft to the Carolina Panthers. This is the Panthers' first time drafting a quarterback with the top overall pick since Cam Newton in 2011. Young was 30 of four as a starter and racked up 8,000. 356 total yards with 80 touchdowns. Bryce Young, the first Alabama player to be drafted first overall since 1948. Pretty impressive, although I wouldn't say it's a shock. We all kind of knew that that was going to be the case with Young being taken first. What we didn't know was coming next. Yeah, the Texans kind of surprising everybody here, and they weren't done right there. They no. traded up and made a pretty big pick. Yeah, Sydney, they ended up drafting CJ Stroud number two, which was a, a surprise lately, but the Houston Texans, as you just mentioned, weren't done there. After drafting Stroud at number two, D'Amico Ryans wanted to shore up that Texans defense and traded some assets to get that number three pick to pick back to back. They used that pick to draft arguably the best player in the draft overall in Will Anderson Jr., also out of Alabama. I think this is a home run pick and a home run move for D'Amico Ryans and the Houston Texans. Yeah, I gotta love it there. Two Alabama players picked in the top three. You mentioned two out of Ohio State. Mm -hmm. Five of those top picks from the SEC. What's your biggest surprise? You know, I'm glad you asked. I can't believe Will Levis wasn't mm -hmm. selected in the first round of the draft. I found out there was a 0.1% chance that he wouldn't be drafted yeah. in the first round. Yeah, it, it's kind of crazy. You know, after his junior year, he had such a good year at Kentucky. He came back for that senior season. Didn't have the protection and didn't have the weapons he did in his junior season. But my surprise pick is the one that the Detroit Lions pick. Detroit traded back from the sixth pick all the way to the 12th pick. And with that pick, they drafted Crimson Tide running back Jameer Gibbs. Gibbs is an all around running back and he's good between the tackles. He can make defenders miss in space and has tremendous breakaway speed. He's also great in the passing games. He had 32 receptions for 350 yards and three touchdowns last season at Alabama. Many think it might have been too early for the Lions to jump on Gibbs. I like the pick. I think he'll be a day one contributor for sure in Detroit. Well, you mentioned him, but now we got to talk about going back to pro day. Emmanuel Forbes told me he was 100% the best cornerback in this year's draft class. So far, he's the only cornerback to be selected so far. He also set and holds the FBS record for career pick sixes with six total in his career. He was drafted to the Commanders as the 16th overall pick. On social media, I saw him post. He says, Mississippi kids, you don't need to go anywhere but Mississippi State. We run the SIP. And yep. he's so far running the board tonight as a 16th Indeed. overall pick. Well, the SEC, like we mentioned, three of those top five yep. picks, two of them coming from Alabama. Alabama with three overall from the SEC. What does that say about what Alabama has done? Well, I mean, it's no surprise to anybody here or anyone in the nation. Alabama is just a factory. They're just going to routinely turn out top talent. Uh, Georgia also with three picks in that first round. They're starting to become what Alabama has been for a long time. Jalen Carter to the Eagles, uh, Broderick Jones to the Steelers, and Nolan Smith also to the Eagles. The Eagles doing some good things on that defense. Yeah, well, we'll have to see what's in store tomorrow as the draft does continue. The SEC leading the day today, though.